and deluding patients. Uh, Amir wishes only for peace. Please! A bomb at Sarwiki on Tuesday killed nine enlisted men. An explosion in the mess at Chimbars bereaved 11 British women. And furthermore, Major Hamilton lost three fingers of his right hand, a great loss. Major Hamilton was one of the finest polo players in the Northwest Frontier. The Amir deeply regrets the loss of the Major's fingers and will send a personal message of condolence to the bereaved British wives. Damn it all! That's not good enough! I want action, not words. I have to point out that the Amir is as bewildered as the British by these attacks. You mean he denies responsibility? Certainly. We have fought three cruel wars against the British. <laughs> Why should we provoke a fourth? Then tell His Highness that unless these attacks cease forthwith, the Indian army will be forced to take retaliatory measures. I will convey your message. As a measure of peaceful intention, please accept this gift. Oh, thank you. What is it? Sweetmeats. Made from honey and crushed locust. Baked in the Amir's kitchen. Sounds delicious. Sergeant! Yes, sir. Scarf this gentleman to his camel. Yes, sir. Meeting satisfactory, sir? Oh, to the washout, Harry. Um, care for a sweetmeat? Gift of the Amir. Oh. Thank you, sir. Hmm, no little. Trouble is, you never know when these blasted natives are telling the truth. It's the face, you know, never changes. Inscrutable, sir. Ah. The very word, Harry. Well, they're not bad chaps, really. Quite right. Must give them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Harry! Look! Good Lord! They've gone too far this time. Sergeant! Close the gates! Arrest that man! Stop that camel! Do you hear? That was frightfully well played, Virgin. Thank you, sir. Would you care to join me? Well, that's really civil of you. Wiles away in the afternoon. Lady Dashwood really does give the most tedious house party. Yes, I'm inclined to agree, sir. Shot, sir. I, uh, I want a quiet word with you, Virgin. You've heard about the trouble on the northwest frontier. Yes, sir. The Afghans are sabotaging our border posts, I believe. The Afghans? Or some third party interested in provoking another British-Afghan war? Delicate situation, sir. Delicate, Virgin. And extremely dangerous. When do I leave, sir? Tonight. Take a train to Peshawar. From there, a military balloon will take you to Chakdara Fort. And the assignment, sir? To stop a full-scale war developing. To try and get to the bottom of who the devil's causing this trouble. I'll make preparations to leave at once, sir. Good man. General? Oh, by the way, there's one other thing, sir. Whilst you're out there, you'll probably run into Theodore Green of the British Zoological Society. Dash big place, Afghanistan, sir. Oh, everyone will have heard of him. He's out there with his daughter, chasing the Parnassus autocrata in the region of the Hindu Kush. A species of animal? Oh, no, no, man. Butterfly. White with blue and purple spots. That's attractive. <laughs> well, when you see Green, be so kind as to give him this. It's a compass. He admired mine some months ago. I promised to get him one. Right, sir. 
I'll make sure he gets it. Interesting creatures, butterflies. Fascinating. I fancy you'll be chasing bigger game. I'm English. Please, you help me. Asano. Hmm? Asano, chase me. Chase you? Well, what are they chasing you for? Please, Sai, no time. Go to British in Chakdara. Um, Give them an important message. Oh, no, no, no. I can't go to Chakdara for two weeks yet. Go now, Master. Hmm? There is little time. What? Give them a message. Tell what British Colonel, there is no time. In two weeks, Asano is my witness. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Look, I say. Look here. I say, can you hear me? Uh, uh, this message. I mean, uh, what? Uh, yeah. what? What is the meaning of this outrage? Uh, Father, what was that noise? Father, answer me, please. the candles out. Oh, what present. Do you remember? You remember my birth? The British agent, Your Highness. Oh, stuff and nonsense. Uh, madam, my name is Theodore Green, and I insist... Insist! Uh, Silence! You are in the court of Princess Katerina Andreevna, direct descendant of Catherine the Great, empress of all the Russias, mistress of the high seas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She was a great lady. She had one fault. Ow! She yeah. was too yeah. liberal. Yeah. Your Highness, please. She got... Oh! oh. The butterfly. It's gone. Where is it? Butterfly von Brauner, who is this madman? A rare species of Lepidoptera is at large in this room. It must be found. Ah, I see it. Stop him, somebody, stop him! Quick! He'll kill us all! Sir, I meant your highness no harm. But really... Now perhaps you will be quiet, huh? Oh. That was the action of a cancer. Take him to the dungeons, he's mad! Now, wait a minute, you can't do this, Your Highness. I've come to this country on a peaceful mission, on behalf of the British Zoological Society. An Englishman? Yes, from Hove, Your Highness. Kill him! No, 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 why should you kill me, Your Highness? You are English and that is reason enough! Ah! You more than Kabuhan! Uh, her Highness was referring to her late husband. 
an Afghan prince who was slaughtered by the British. So great was her grief that she gave a solemn vow never again to reveal her beauty to the world. Oh, yes, I'm sure that's a great loss. Your uh, people shall pay dearly for his death, sir. <laughs> Already they are blaming the Afghans for our ingenious sabotage. Soon, the two countries will be fighting like tigers. Good gracious It me. will be a bloodbath. And the then thing. the Imperial Russian army will march over a sea of British dead to India. Joel of your British Empire! What devilish schemes are you plotting? Not I! I am merely an instrument of the Tsar! And you, Mr. Green, are the British traitor! Uh, I beg your pardon? Mm, yes, no. don't waste time! A uh, traitor fleeing from here with plans of the projected uh, Russian attack this is was shot in the action of passing over the information to you! This is absurd. You're making a terrible mistake. Pilot, I insist on being hurt! Well, really, I know nothing about uh, politics or Russian attacks. I am a naturalist. I have come to Afghanistan with one aim, to net the exquisite Parnassus or uh, Who is this Parnassus? The stupid butterfly. It is certainly not stupid. Anyway, I, I, I hardly set eyes on this so-called traitor. Uh, he merely brandished a string of beads in my face before being shot dead at my feet. Beads, von Brander. Where are the beads? Be, be, be. The bees, where are they? I, I, I Imbecile! Feed him to the bears! Take care, Your Highness! I hold in this box eight spiders from the jungles of Brazil! Oh, really? Do let me see. Ah, ah, it one bite from these, and you will die an <laughs> agonizing death. Remove it, von Drauner. You have the most evil mind. <laughs> <laughs> I do my solemn best to keep pace with Your Highness. Excellent. <laughs> but mistakes cannot be tolerated. The plans of the attack were surely hidden in those beads. They must be recovered at once. Yeah, you and you recover the beads. Good. They must not fall into British hands. Me? Oh. Mr. Green, I have decided to spare your life. Oh, that's most generous of you, Your Highness. But on one condition, you must convince me that this story of being a naturalist is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's good you moved! <laughs> Listen. You've got to move that hole. Lives a beautiful but savage bear. Her name is Ruska. And the poor creature is dying. You will have a cell next door to her. Save her life, and your own will be spared. Oh, but your Highness, I, I, I am not a bit. I, I, I only understand butterflies. Is not a butterfly also an animal? Oh, by no means. No, no, no. The no, perils no. of over-specialization, my friend. <laughs> Take him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, this is a black day for British <laughs> Don't, don't do that, sir, please. Tell us, quick. Unless my eyes deceive me, our services are required. Prepare to descend. How is that? Back of ballast, sir. Another back ballast. Ah! Got him! Got him, sir! Hooray! <laughs> well done, sir! Oh, no, oh, on. Sir. Foul, foul, Douglas. We're going down. Get 
get the right, sir! Off him, sir! Off him! Now! Good evening. Captain Robert Virgin, at your service. Oh, Captain, how can I ever thank you enough? <laughs> well, perhaps by forgiving this rather unseemly attire. Of course, they're most becoming. Might I know whom I have the honor of assisting? My name is Polly Green, sir. Oh, no relation to Theodore Green of the British Zoological Society. My father, sir. Oh, this is indeed most opportune. I have here a gift for your father from London. It's extremely kind of you, sir. But I fear you are too late. <sighs> Come on, sir, we're losing gas. Right. right. Prepare to ascend. Thank you, lady. Sir. We will continue to check down a fort. Where this unfortunate lady will find rest, nourishment, and a friendly welcome among her own kind. Oh, tight, miss. Sir? that by dropping on us unannounced like this, you've interrupted a very fine game of polo. Oh, I, I do apologize, sir. But, sir, uh, surely you received a telegraphic communication from London. My dear captain, in this neck of the woods, telegraphic communications have a habit of not turning up. But that apart, never in my wildest imaginings would I have thought that an unchaperoned female would drop from the skies into the company of 800 rough, tough, lusty fighting men. Sir? What the devil are we going to do with her? Well, she's uh, resting now in the officer's quarters. When she wakes, we must question her about her father. If, God forbid, he is dead, she must return at once to London. Yes, right. Uh, what about you? What, the, what, what do you want here? You've been having some trouble on the frontier, I believe. Oh, oh I see. They send a junior officer 4,000 miles to tell me what's happening on my own doorstep. There have been altogether five incidents on the border. Not only on the border, Captain. The Amir sent his envoy here with a gift of exploding sweetmeats. I see. And what did you do with the envoy, sir? Well, if it's any concern of yours, Captain, I slung him in the guardhouse on minimum ration. That was very foolish, sir. What did you say? The sweetmeats were most probably tampered with by somebody else. The envoy was no doubt accompanied by a servant. You, Captain, I suggest I... that you release the envoy at once, sir. It's my opinion that nothing must be done to strain relations between our two countries. I don't give a damn for your opinion, sir. Confound your impudence! How dare you question a senior officer? Colonel! Before we continue this, this discussion, uh, you might care to read this letter. It's from Whitehall, sir. of them. I've heard of you people, of course. Forgive me, Captain, I've no idea. Naturally, if there's anything I can do to assist you while you're here, you need only ask. Yes, sir, there is one small thing. I would like you to arrange a meeting for me with a high-ranking representative of the Amir. Very good. And please release the envoy at once. I shall attend to it personally. Uh, nice to have you with us, Captain. Uh, uh, do take a seat. Uh, thank you, sir. Satisfactory. Well, they fixed you up all right, sir. Splendid. And you? The stable loft. 
Let's hope the horses don't make too much noise, eh? But is it horses, sir? Or camels? Some of each, I expect. I'll take that. You get the rest. Up. Shall we have one more? Follow that one. Mrs. Cortez. Good afternoon, Captain. Really, madam, you do appear in the most unlikely places. May I have the honor to know what brings you to India? I'm in search for pictures for an exhibition. I've always wanted to photograph the Buddhist Tupra Chankara in the moonlight. It must be very beautiful. Unfortunately, it's many miles away from here. Allow me to redirect you. I have decided to break my journey, Captain. Naturally, now that I'm here, I should consider it my duty to offer you every assistance that I can. That's extremely kind of you, Boy, but I really don't think... the baggage. Uh, Captain, if you'd be so kind. Yes, ma'am, now that you're here, there is one small matter. Anything, Captain. There is a young and innocent girl in the barracks. Please make it your duty to see that she's properly chaperoned. It all. I don't understand it at all. It's quite beyond me. You say your father simply disappeared, like, just like that, without a trace? There was a gunshot first. Thanks, Ben is dead. Oh, no. Try to look on the bright side, Miss Green. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. But if there was a shot, surely they'd have found a corpse. <laughs> Colonel, please. Miss Not Green has suffered enough. I'm sorry. I'm only really trying to get at the facts. I mean, damn it all! Why should anyone want to snaffle a butterfly hunter and then chase his daughter 50 miles waving a knife at her? Colonel! No, oh, I'm sorry, Miss Green. I have no fear. You're quite safe now. Miss Green, I know this is a, a great ordeal for you, but there are one or two questions I really must ask. Of course. I'm all right now, Captain. Yes. Yes, you're showing great courage. Now. On your travels through Afghanistan, did you encounter anything that uh, aroused your curiosity? Or shall we say your suspicions? Not that I recall, Captain. It occurred to me that perhaps you and your father had stumbled across some evidence of military activity, which would explain why, in fact, you're being pursued. By Jingo, yes, the border incidents. Well, Miss Green? No, we saw nothing. We we're totally engrossed in our search for Parnassius or Tokrata. <sighs> Where was it, Harry? Dispatch from Kabul, sir. Oh, Just arrived. Thank you. The Amir is sending his wazir to meet you. He arrives tomorrow. Colonel, let an armed escort meet him at the frontier and arrange for our meeting to take place in conditions of the utmost secrecy and security. Is that absolutely necessary? Yes, sir. We've already offended His Highness by imprisoning his envoy. If anything should happen to the Wazir while he's on British territory, there's no telling what'll be the outcome. Long Ruska, well, do try and eat something. You'll never get your strength back if you don't eat, you know. Now, come on, try this. You, it's delicious, it's full of iodine. What about some honey? 
bears like honey, don't they? <laughs> oh. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Grin, oh. how are you progressing? Oh, very well, thank you, Your Highness. She's getting stronger every day. Duh. Then why is she flat on her back? Uh, well, she's just uh, resting, you know, taking a little nap. For uh, your sake, I hope so. Yes. If she isn't dancing a mazurka in 24 hours, you will be chopped in pieces and fed to her brothers. <laughs> John! Ah! Who is in there? The two bunglers who failed to recover the bees, Your Highness. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> Let us stop for a moment. <laughs> I have just received word from our spies the Amir has caught in Kabul. Apparently, the Amir has sent his vazir for talks with Captain Virgin. Captain Virgin and I are old acquaintances. <laughs> you have a plan, von Brauner. A plan that will make war between the Afghans and the British inevitable. But it will require two men of the greatest courage. <laughs> or perhaps two men anxious to succeed. Where before they have failed. Ah! It's too much noise here. We will discuss it in my chamber. Yeah, as your highness pleases. Nothing can happen to the wazir here, sir. You're quite sure, Harry. Stake my life on it, sir. Safest place in the fort. Start, sir. <laughs> Excellency, the 7th Punjab Cavalry apologize for the surroundings, but intend no disrespect. In view of the unhappy events of the past few weeks, we felt it necessary to ensure that no harm befalls your distinguished personage. Uh, yes. Um, uh, the recent series of unfortunate misunderstandings has unhappily strained relations between our two countries. We sincerely hope that this meeting, which, um, you know, which um, historians of the future may well term the Cook House Conference. Well, anyway, we hope this meeting will settle our differences. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. My country for too long has been disputed by powerful neighboring states. We are in the process of raising a united Afghan army, not for the purpose of making territorial gains, but in order to defend our rightful frontiers. We are not responsible for the attacks on the British border posts, but in future, if any of our official representatives are insulted, there will be ferocious reprisals! Thank you, Dublet. That was exceedingly well played. For a moment, I, I thought we was going to end up on the menu. But... <laughs> Captain, you are wounded. Oh, a scratch, Mrs. Cortez. The wazir was there, wasn't he, ma'am? I understand it was merely a flesh wound, Dublet. Ah. Captain, these might be of interest. They are the photographs of Polly Green's attackers. Uh, as I thought, the same two villains that attacked the wazir. You realize what this means? The incidents are related. Quite. Mrs. Cortez, it occurs to me that when you arrived so unexpectedly in India, I was a trifle ungallant. And my apologies, ma'am. These photographs have more than justified your presence here. Thank you, Captain. I hope I shall continue to be of service. Kindly remove your jacket. I beg your pardon? Your wound, Captain, must be bathed. 
Hot water, doublet. Sir? Oh. oh, very well. Hot water, sir. I'm afraid the shirt will have to come off, too. But, madam, I never... As you wish. Thank you, Douglas. I will try to be as gentle as I can. You bungling cretin! No beach, no assassination! Your Highness, I can explain! There can be no explanation for two failures in two days! Your Highness, have mercy! Our attempts were for but a wonderful virgin. He has a strength of ten and the cutting of a vault. Enough! Tell me, how did your poor comrade die? By the sword, Your Highness. Then by the sword it shall be! No, Take him! No, no, no! no. And Browner. This Capitan Virgin is a fly in the soup, huh? It would be foolish to underestimate him, Your Highness. And he's a little bigger than a fly. He is clever and strong, but fortunately not infallible. Then send ten men to deal with him. That would not be wise, Your Highness. Don't question me, von Brauner. Any more impertinence and you will forgo your tea concessions when we move into India. You are so beautiful, Highness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be wise also. The British are on their guard now. But I have a plan of the utmost simplicity. I shall recover the beads and send Captain Robert Virgin to his final resting place. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! Yeah. What's the idea? You're not going to tell you and me about a little chat. What's the matter? Lost your tongue. Sorry, mate. Ah, oh, yes, I want it. Come on. Open. Now, that's not nice. This is a present for someone, but not for you. See? I think you and me had best have a little chat with the governor. Eh? Colonel, our first priority must be to find Mr. Green. But he's sure to turn up sooner and later. I really don't see why we're worrying about a wretched butterfly hunter. For two reasons, sir. The first is surely obvious. He's a fellow Englishman. No, quite, quite. And the second... What the devil? I'm sorry, Colonel. I caught him in the captain's room. He nicked this up. Thank you, Doublet. Well done. This is outrageous. You should pay for this, my friend. Sergeant! Sir, take this man to the guardhouse. Yes. Oh, oh, no, master. No, master. No, not to prison, please. I, I have many wives. I have many children. Inevitably. Should have thought of that before. Take him away. Oh, please, master. I, I can help you. In, in return for my freedom, I, I will take you to where they keep the great white hunter. Who the devil is that? Well, he stalks with the net and jar, the winged creatures of the hills. Net? Ja. Mr. The Green, my hunter. You know where Mr. Green is? Oh, yes, yes, Master. Oh, he's a very sick man. He, he, he's crying, crying for his daughter. Then see. we must not delay. And Miss Green shall go with us. Oh, that, that is good. That... In return for your freedom, you will take us to Mr. Green at once. Understood? Oh, yes, Master. Yes, it's understood. understood. Right. Come on, Doublet. Ah. Go on. <laughs> Hey, 
dear child, what on earth are you doing here? Oh, but first tell me you're well. Well, uh, a little undernourished, my dear, but otherwise intolerable health. Oh, oh hey, 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 hey. What? There is no need for that. I can walk. Come on. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Uh, Father, this is oh. Captain Virgin. Captain Virgin, this is my father. Oh. I'm pleased to say he's quite well. And I am indeed pleased to hear it, sir. Uh, oh, <laughs> I have a compass for you from yes. Colonel Shaw Camberley of London. It is a gift for you. Oh, yes, how very thoughtful of him. Um, but, but tell me, who are these gentlemen and what on earth are you doing here? It is here? a long and strange story. After you vanished in the foothills yes. and I found my beautiful birthday gift, yes. I decided... Gift? What gift? The beads, Father. Surely you remember. Thank you. I will take charge of these. Von Brana. Captain Virgin, we meet again. But this time for the last time. Give me my beads. Give me back my beads. Oh! Oh, Polly. Oh, 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 Well, he is. Uh, Mr. Green. Yes, yes. That revolting bear is sinking rapidly. No. Yes. Oh. I arrest all of you. Conserve your energy. For in a few hours' time, you will be attending a funeral. <laughs> Your own. <laughs> oh, now, now, there, don't cry, my dear child. <laughs> Captain Virgin, I am beginning to see why you have been lured here. Concealed within those beads are the plans of a Russian attack of the most dastardly nature about to be unleashed on India. So that's it. There may be one slender chance. Double it, the bird. Poor devil. I wonder who he was. Someone they held in great esteem. I fancy their enemies receive a less respectful ceremony. There's something written on the shroud. R-U-S-S Ruska. What a funny name. Who? Oh. Father, what is it? <laughs> Polly, dear, I fear that the end may be near. Don't you, be you, silly, you, Father. Come. What do they oh. want with you? Oh. My dear, my dear. Captain Virgin, my daughter is still young and innocent. If ever you escape from this dreadful place, please take great care of her. It wouldn't be an honor, sir, but... Yes. No, 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 no. Goodbye, Polly, God bless you. There must be a way. There must. Very careless, these guards are. Andrana, you have done well. All is saved. Now the British will never know our plans. I have some more news that will please your highness. Anti-British Afghans are blaming the British for their attack on the Amir. <laughs> Skirmishing has already broken out on the frontier. Then war is inevitable. Andrana, you may kiss my hand. Oh, your highness is so gracious. Nothing can stop us now. In two weeks, we shall be in India. Allow me to propose a toast. To India! To India! Pandana, what have they done with the body of my poor dear Ruska? Preparations for her funeral are complete, Your Highness. And the Englishman? who poisoned her with fish and honey. He is in the dungeon awaiting execution. Then it would be impolite to keep him waiting any longer. Quite so. But might I suggest that we wait until Captain Virgin and his friends join him? A mass execution is so much more entertaining. 
Von Brauner, you have the most amusing ideas. A small talent, Your Highness. I'm glad it's appreciated. <laughs> Assemble all the prisoners in the dungeon. Yeah. I shall wear black. Black? Out of respect for my dear departed Ruska. Cab! Madame, Mrs. Virginia Cortez. And I let myself in. No other woman has entered these walls for 15 years. I apologize, but it was a matter of some urgency. How dare you flaunt your beauty before my court, madame? You shall pay dearly for this. Is there no limit to your impertinence? Come out of there. Come out of there at once. I order you to come out of there at once. From now on, the British will pay dearly for their tea! Philip, if you have one streak of human decency in you, release Miss Green and her father. They have no part in this. Their innocence caught up in a deadly political game. They must pay the price of all meddlers. Oh, oh, Miss Green shall die, and her father shall watch. Oh, no, no. <laughs> As for your puny little friend here, he shall die slowly. This knife shall gradually descend onto his head. Oh, don't bother to struggle, my friend. It, uh, it can't be stopped. You filthy rat. <laughs> How vinousing! Uh. Doublet, you remember Baldini? Fine, miss. I don't know bring him up, sir. Was he on the same bill as you at the Bedford Camden Town? Silence! Oh, oh welcome, your highness. Uh, everything is prepared. Uh, the entertainment can now commence. Release the prisoners. Have you ready? What? Release them. This instant. But your highness, that must not be wise. You dare to disobey my demands? Your highness, this is a temporary aberration. Uh, Rushka's death has possibly driven you to the vodka bottle? Idiot! I have other plans for their deaths. We shall throw them from the battlements. We shall fire arrows into their broken bodies. We shall then stake them out under the sun until the ants have devoured them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it, I love it. I'll try them. That is good. Now the captain, but watch him carefully. Here. Don't forget me, will you? Stop the sword. Stop! Imposter! 
Von Bader, you cretin, you have been tricked. What in heaven? Two of them. I'm going out of my mind. Von Braun, who dares to impersonate me? Uh, I'm sorry, Your Highness, I don't understand. Address another word to that imposter, and you will be burned alive. Your Highness, please. Kill the pretender or die yourself. Stop. I can't stand any more of this. Kill her. Wait, wait. There is a, there's a way to settle this affair. The true Katarina's beauty is legendary. Yeah. Unveil yourselves. And the most beautiful will surely be Her Highness Katharina. No. No, Von Braun. Not that. There is no other way. But I have vowed never to have revealed my beauty. Is that not proof enough? I too have made a vow, but to expose this Charlotte when I will happily break. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> there might be a more amusing way. Yeah. The true Katharina is merciless. She would not hesitate to kill with her own hand. Let the true Katharina thrust this sword into the heart of Captain Virgin. Give me the sword! No! I will go first! No! no. Give me the sword! No. Give me the sword! No. Give it to me! Leave it! Leave it! Get down! We have many scores to settle. Stop him! Stop him! Uh, I remember gold digging, sir. But rather, we shall be killed. Then let's get out of here. Move! No. Move. Ah! Happy sight, Captain. Her vanity was her undoing. But Mrs. Cortez, I fancy the British Empire will be a safer place without her. And how are you, sir? Well, by some strange chance, I appear to be alive and well. <laughs> oh, Captain, just wait till I tell the girls at school. Oh. oh. Ah, oh, Virgin. Good afternoon, sir. Good to have you back. Thank you. Are you playing? Killing time, actually. Lady Dashwood's parties really go from bad to worse. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, did you uh, manage to give that fellow Green the compass? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, it saved his life. He had it in his pocket. It obstructed a dagger, you know. Good. Oh. Jolly glad it came in useful. 